Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And over the last couple of days on Twitter, I have seen some really sexy graphic renders, like what you were about to see in front of you, this guy right here from Passive Star. Look at this environment. This is a rendering test in Godot, and this is absolutely stunning. So if you're looking at, for some strange reason, maybe you want to check out a new ga game engine, want to see what the graphic capabilities are, and you're kind of sick of using Sponza, well, there is a source for some really cool levels. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Another one popped up is this guy right here. So this is from... Uh, Wilhelm Nyland, again, some photogrammetry showing the rendering capabilities inside of Godot and uh, using, again, a photogrammatic setting, and they're all coming from the exact same source. And that source is actually an um, artist at Sony PlayStation named David Fletcher. He's also big time into photogrammetry. Now, photogrammetry is basically the process of doing 3D scans of the world uh, to basically recreate 3D objects using a you know metric buttload of photos taken from a variety of different angles. It sounds easy, and I've tried it, and I suck so hard at it. I, I took like 700 photos of my car, and it did not look like anything that you would expect to come out of it. So there is definitely a skill involved in photogrammetry, and David, he has that skill. So he's shared all of these up on Sketchfab. Uh, a great many of them are actually available completely free. They're all CC BY licensed in this case. Now this is one of those things about Sketchfab I really can't stand. The UI is very uh, bad in this regard. So you can tell the ones you can download because of this little icon right here. But as you can tell by this guy over here, sometimes it's a little hard to tell which ones are downloadable. But the majority of these are downloadable. Some of them are for sale, but most of the environments we're talking about here are actually available as downloads. And they're like staggeringly cool. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead we'll, we'll check one of these out right away uh, and that is uh, this guy over here so the leak street graffiti tunnel so you can go here it's he's basically he's gone through these locations in london and just taken a ton of scans of them so if you want to again check the rendering capabilities of your engine you want to play around and you want to use something other than good old-fashioned sponza or programmer art these are kind of cool projects to work with so this is the scan uh, that he's set up you can go to uh, sketchfab uh, once you're logged in you basically come on in here you can do downloads and you can grab them in a couple of different file formats if you're going to play around with the lighting you probably want to bring in the obj format but the easiest version uh, especially if you're working with something like a doe is bring down the glb format so i brought down the glb format of this guy and i already imported it in so here it is in the Godot game engine. So literally, literally, all you do, drop the GLB file in, and then drop the GLB file into your scene, and this is it. So this is one of the 3D scans. Now you're gonna see here, so whenever there's a lack of detail, you're gonna get wobbling like that. So he didn't take a lot of photos over here. So outside of it, you know, garbage. But let's go take a look inside of this tunnel. As an example, so you get all of the, the cool texturing and details that were available there before. So it gives you these very lifelike environments to work and play around with. And again, these are CC BY. So you could actually use these in a game if you wish. You'd have to obviously give accreditation uh, to them. But here is one such example. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll grab another one of his things. Because they're, again, they're all very quite nice. So uh, this guy, I'll just go ahead. We'll uh, delete this guy out of here. So go away and done. And we'll go back over here and exit out of there. So let's go check out another thing that he's done. So uh, the one I used in the thumbnail is this guy right here. So we'll use it. So go here uh, again. Just go to the uh, the page. Go down here to the download 3D models. Pick the GLB format. I'll do 4K textures here. So 58 megabytes in size. Uh, that is downloading right now. So 10 seconds left. All right, so that should be done. Let's head on over to my downloads. It's available right here. So there is the pub. So let's go back to Godot, like so. Obviously, you can do this whatever engine you're working with, if it supports GLB or OBJ, but everything supports OBJ. So uh, it, at least in that format, you'll be able to get it to work. You'll just have to recreate the textures manually. Uh, and it does ship with the texture files, so that's not really a big deal. You literally just have to set up a new material. So that's going to import it in. This is a 60 megabyte file, so this is going to take a couple of seconds for this to process. So I will, uh, I will pause while it continues to import it right here and create one. Drop it into the scene, and there we go. There is the pub in the world environment. And again, it just... It looks so good. Uh, I, I'm just somewhat amazed at, let me just change the tone mapping here because I like, I actually tend to like filmic better. So there you go. You get an idea of exactly how good this stuff works. It's a good way to showcase uh, a game engine, game engine's rendering capabilities. Uh, I know this is something that a lot of people are interested in right now. 
And this guy just has so much stuff available. So uh, this is, again, just yet another example in the archive. But we go here, go back, and we're gonna, we'll exit out of there. And you're just gonna notice if we do the view all, it's, uh, yeah, they just keep going and going and going and going. Now do keep in mind, some of these, like this guy right here, are commercial. And again, their UI is just so terrible. You, you can't tell which ones are the commercial and which ones aren't, like it's not, it's not visually obvious uh, because of the colors they chose there, but the vast majority of things here are actually uh, just available for download. And again, there's a ton of these really cool environments from a variety of locations in London. And um, yeah, just literally as long as uh, you know it's available here. And I think they're all under the same license, but do be sure to check. So again, if you wanna use this environment, for example, as you're uh, rendering or testing for lighting or however you wanna do it, again, just, He's really good at photogrammetry. Uh, but if you got this guy right here, what you wanna do is come down here and make sure that the license works for you. Uh, but if you're just using it to play around, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, but I have to say, uh, I have to applaud you, Art Fletch. You have uh, some great photogrammetry skills and uh, thank you so much for sharing all these resources with all of us. And yeah, if you're uh, looking for some great assets to check out your um, you know, possibly new game engine with, uh, this is an interesting resource, I thought. So I figured I would share it. Again, also, uh, special thanks to uh, Passive Star. His tweet actually is what put me on to. He actually mentions Art Fletch here. He puts me on to this in the first place. Then again, I kept seeing other things and other things by Art Fletch, and I'm like, okay, no, I gotta cover this guy. So David Fletcher, great work, cool resource, and hopefully some of you guys had never heard of this before and have a great new toy to play around with. Um, again, it's on Sketchfab, so you probably already saw it anyways. There's just so much stuff on Sketchfab that a lot of times the, the real gems can go hidden. It's just the nature of the beast of that kind of stuff. So I thought this guy definitely deserved a call out. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.